ever held a pencil and wondered just how do they make these things? Well folks, in this video we're going behind the scenes into the surprisingly fascinating world of pencil making. But before we dive in, if you enjoy content that makes you see everyday objects in a whole new light, smash that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get to uncovering the secrets behind everybody's favorite writing tool, the pencil. Before we make billions of pencils, we need supplies. Every pencil relies on just three key ingredients, graphite, clay, and wood. Graphite mixes with clay to form each pencil's lead core, while wood makes up the iconic cylindrical casing you grip and write with. The highest quality graphite hails from mines in Sri Lanka and Madagascar. This premium carbon element lends pencils their signature slate gray streaks and smooth writing feel. Woodwise California Cedar Wines MVP, its subtle woody aroma and perfectly balanced texture makes it ideal for mass pencil production. Yes, those billions of pencils guzzle up millions of cedar logs yearly, but reputable pencil companies use ethical harvesting. With great pencil production comes great responsibility, Spider-Man says. Once sourced, it's time for some graphite clay core science. Powdered graphite and clay components are ground extra fine. We're talking particles so tiny you'd need a microscope to peep them. This super fine consistency ensures even distribution when mixing. Now we determine hardness. More graphite in the mix gives you darker, softer leads, while more clay produces lighter, firmer cores. Different pencil grades have specialized proportions. Next, water joins the powder party, transforming it into smooth, thick graphite clay paste. This delectable goop slides into extruding machines, squeezing it into thin core-shaped rods laced with graphite veins. Snip snip, mechanical choppers slice them like pepperoni sticks into small cylindrical nuggets. Raw pencil cores, ready to meet their wood bodies. Now to shelter the prepared cores in cozy wooden homes, smooth cedar tree trunks get sawed into slim strips called slats funky pencil lingo for you. Conveyor belts transport these wood slats to angry machines. Sharp blades carve out thin lengthwise trenches in them. Half the slats get drizzled with glue before pencil cores lay snugly into the trenches, like mini lead mummies going to bed. The core-free slats seal them in tight to form primitive pencil sandwiches. Adorable. These wooden core rectangles next ride intense pressing machines, squeezing them with incredible power. This welds each magic pencil sandwich solidly together in a forever slat hug, using durable glue. Out they slide, but square. Oh no, pencils cannot be square. To the shaping squad. Spinning blades trim and chisel awkward square sticks into perfect hexagonal prisms, the iconic pencil shape we know and love. You may wonder why six sides. Three reasons. Six sides stop Raleigh Poly pencils from escaping desks and tables. Hexagons max out precious wood usage with no waste. Six comfy edges fit nice and snug in human hands for prime writing control. Pretty cleaver geometry right there. Smooth sanded touches finish these bad boys off right. Shiny lacquer or enamel spa soaks provide flashy colors and water protection too. Our hexagonal heroes are complete. But first, erasers. No respectable pencil roams solo without an eraser sidekick. Raw rubber bakes under scorching heat and crazy pressure, vulcanizing it into flawless erasing material. This soft, squishy stuff gets pushed through holes, becoming long, wiggly strings. Snip snip into little nubs. Metal or plastic caps called ferrules stabilize bases before bonding eternally to eraser plugs. The perfect symbiotic match. Finally, eraser meets pencil for life. Imagine trying to erase pencil mistakes without them. Pure chaos. Before billions ship annually, pencils face strict examinations. Crooked or cracked rejects thrown away. Flawless ones sharpened and tested before being packed snugly in boxes, bound for pencil paradise also known as stationary stores globally. The classic hexagonal pencil shape with attached eraser tips feels like it's been around forever. But pencils have undergone quite the design evolution over the centuries. Early pencils lacked wood casings entirely. Pieces of raw pure graphite were simply wrapped in sheepskin or string. Eventually wooden holders emerged, but they were square and undecorated. It wasn't until the mid-1800s that hexagonal shaping arose after manufacturers realized this was the most efficient shape for preventing rolls, maximizing wood use, and improving grip. Even eraser tips took time to be perfected. Hyman Lippmann received the first eraser tip pencil patent in 1858, but loose piece erasers remained common for decades after too, and it wasn't until the early 1900s that colorful dyed lacquer coatings became trendy to jazz up pencil appearance. So while pencil construction has remained functionally similar over the past century, designers continue refining elements like shape, decor, and ergonomics to this day. Who knows what sleek or wacky pencil innovations await in the future? And there you have it friends, the epic tale of pencil creation. 
Who knew so much work went into pumping out easily taken for granted pencils? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed learning about how pencils are made, let us know by hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to catch more glimpses behind the scenes of everyday items. Until next time, bye.